Avro Bio has as a mission to enable individuals with genetic disease to live a longer, better life. And so for us, what that means is to free patients from the everyday symptoms of disease, but also to untether them from today's standard of care, which in our world are biweekly infusions every, every two weeks for life. So the whole focus is, can we unleash the full potential of patients? And when we formed the company in 2015, we were just so inspired by breakthrough gene therapy technologies from companies around us. Companies like Bluebird Bio were showing curative, medicine, uh, curative results in areas like ALD. UPenn was curing cancer with ex vivo lenti gene therapy. And so we decided to form a company because we had this existing skill set in gene therapy. And we spent the better part of 2015 looking around the world in academia for proof of concept science. We didn't want to start with a blank sheet of paper. We wanted to find leading academics whose entire career was focused on gene therapy. And after looking far and wide, we identified really breakthrough science at the University Health Network in Toronto. Uh, Dr. Jeff Medine, who began at NIH, went to Toronto and had 15 years of science and preclinical work showing a potential for gene therapy in Fabry disease. So we partnered with Jeff and the Toronto Teaching Hospitals, formed the company, we called it Avro, and just repeated that recipe. We kept looking around the world, and we found Professor Stefan Carlson in Lund, Sweden, whose life work was in Gaucher disease, focused on a gene therapy. We brought that into the company. Again, Professor Stephanie Cherqui at UCSD in San Diego's life's work in cystinosis, we brought that into the company, and we did a de novo POMPA program. So phase one was really figuring out who are the best scientists in the world focused in gene therapy, bringing in their technology, partnering with them. And then the second half of the equation was to optimize it, was to focus on what we call Plato, our engine. And now entering 2020, we have these four LSDs in the clinic generating data, and we have our Plato engine optimized. Plato is almost like our Intel inside. So we're developing unique medicines for each of our diseases, Fabry, Gaucher, Pompa, Cystinosis, but the gene therapy engine we call Plato. And to, to describe why we've actually branded it as Plato is that until now, these types of gene therapies uh, originated in academia, and they've shown really exciting proof of concept, but now the focus is to take them out of academia and to turn them into a medicine. And so for that, what we have to do is really break down each component of the gene therapy and really optimize it. So things like taking a vector that has been proven to work in our early phase one trials and figure out how do we optimize it for both safety and potency and even manufacturability. And also to take what is, you know, at times Petri dish manufacturing processes and get human intervention out of it and figure out how do you automate it. And automation uh, actually lets us produce at scale so that if we really can develop a safe, effective medicine, we would have the potential to treat thousands of patients. And also automation lets us reach patients anywhere in the world because without this, you know, we, we describe our manufacturing process as an automated pod about the size of a dishwasher, but we can deploy these pods in manufacturing facilities anywhere around the world. So already we have two manufacturing facilities in the US, one in Australia, and we're in late stages of opening up one in Europe. 